Recently, my YouTube feed started to fill up with playthroughs of a mysterious Doom mod called My House, and I have never played Doom, and so I did not really intend to try this mod out for myself, so I did not heed the spoiler warnings. I watched quite a few of these uh, videos. My favorite was the one by Powerpack, which is, I think, the one that has the most views. So if you don't care about the spoilers, maybe this is what you should watch. But maybe you have some fond memories of Doom and uh, got interested based on the buzz around this mod and you want to try it out for yourself, but you run Archlex. And if you go to the ZDoom website where you can get GZDoom from, you can see that they only have Windows, Macintosh and Ubuntu official packages. So luckily on Archlex, Someone already made the hard work for us and figured out how to compile the source code on Arch Linux, and they made an AUR package so you can get GZ Doom from the AUR. Uh, we have the package built here, so this is a very simple one. It will get the everything basically from the GZ Doom GitHub. It has a custom desktop file and a few patches that it will apply. So it applies the patches and then builds the binary for us, so all the flags are set, we don't have to worry about that, and of course it has the dependency array, so we don't have to worry about manually installing all the dependencies. So generally on Arch Linux you can install packages very similarly, just uh, cloning the repositories with the git clone command and then uh, so you run make package dash si, so this will sync the dependencies and install the package, so make pkg has to be run as a normal user, but we have a few problems here. So gzdoom has one of the dependencies called zmusic, and zmusic is also in the AUR, so if you don't use an AUR helper, then you will have to manually install all of these from the AUR. So clone this, make package-si, then clone this one, make package-si, and then maybe you also want to have some of the optional dependencies like the uh, freedoom, and the free DM packages, which are kind of the game data for the game, which is freely available, or Doom 1 for, for Doom, sharer game data. So all of these are in the AUR, which you will have to install them one by one with make package-si. And maybe you don't want to do that, so you can use whatever the AUR helpers you want for that. For me, this will be uh, AUR utils. So in my terminal, what I will do is AUR sync GZ Doom, and this will basically figure out everything for me. So it figured out that we need Z music first. Here I can check the package build files, exit here, and let it build. Okay, so first it built the uh, Z music package, I guess. So I will have to install it via Pacman, which requires my sudo password. And now we are going to do the same thing for GZ Doom, and then we will also have to install the game data, which uh, hopefully will take less time. So I guess so what you need is you need to install sudo pacman-s and GZ Doom now. Yeah, so we have GZ Doom, but I don't think we have any of the game data. So if we just start it, yeah, it will give us some warnings about not having any of the game files. So we will have to get them and put them in .config and that will work. But we can also get those from the AUR, I guess. So to rectify this issue, we need to do AUR sync freedom or whatever AUR helper you use. You need to install freedom with it. So this one will basically pull the free version of the game data that we might need. So now we can try to run GZ Doom. Yeah, we've got GZ Doom from more than one iWad. Select the list to which one to use. Free Doom 2, I guess. So the next thing we need to do is get the actual game files from the, what is it, Doom World forums. You can just look for myhouse.wad and it will come up. You click on download myhouse.wad, which will take you to Google Drive. 
here you should download everything because everything will contain information uh, for your for, for your gaming experience. So you want to get all the screenshots, sketchbook, the journal if you want to understand what's going on in the game. But for this demonstration what we need is the PK3 file which uh, I actually already downloaded. So let's uh, try to do something with that. So now that we've downloaded my house, what we need to do is start uh, not freedom gz doom dash capital F file and the file name. So I just put it here. So my house dot pk3 and when you press enter, you will be prompted here to select a word and this is based on doom 2. So you need to do freedom free doom 2. So freedom phase 2, I guess. Press OK and then the game will start. Just be mindful that if you run the game like this, then this will use the Freedom assets and Freedom music. So whenever the mod would use the original, assets and original music that will be replaced to something else and because in the playing experience of my house it plays a lot on subverting your expectations like playing the original music and then switching it to some kind of the remixed version of the music but if your original music is replaced by the freedom music you will not pick up on this kind of subtle clues those will sound like uh, very abrupt changes because the music will change to something different But if you have the original Dooms, Doom 2 WAD file, then you can run GZ Doom with that. So here you can just run GZ Doom dash I WAD and put in the original game file. So in my case, I just put everything in the home directory here for demonstration purposes. But of course, you can give here the full path to your original Doom WAD file and then file myhouse.pk3 this is also in my home directory for convenience so let's do it As far as I know, this should work with any Doom2.wad file, so if you get it from Steam, if you get it from an old version of the game that you bought in the 90s or anything, it should work with uh, GZ Doom. So, if you like this tutorial, why don't you give a like to the video, and if you want to see more like this, you can subscribe to the channel, and of course, you can join in the conversation on free software and other things with me if you follow my Mastodon account on Fostodon. So see you over there hopefully, or see you in the next video. Bye bye.